and I'm back in Australia and I've had an absolutely incredible three weeks in Cambodia and I've been part of some amazing projects. So today I want to tell you about the creation of one of the first artificial reefs and coral nurseries off the coast of Koh Rao. My name is Kat, thank you so much for watching. On the 28th, it was transported to the location where it was lowered into the water with a truck crane on a big barge boat. So this was done very efficiently and while we arrived at 6 p.m. by sunset, both containers were in the water. Two divers, Tom and Pierre, helped attach the anchors to the containers to ensure they didn't float away. Each container had 12 barrels attached to it, allowing us to then tow it to the proper location the following day. So on the 29th, the day started with the Reef Dive Resort dive team from Koh Rong going to a dive location off Koh Koon. This is a really shallow dive site where a lot of boats moor, therefore a lot of the coral is damaged by anchors. So a perfect location to collect these broken corals to then transfer them into a new environment. Most corals can produce both sexually through spawning and asexually through breaking off and reattaching somewhere else, creating a new colony. So this is how coral nurseries work, and that is one of the goals of this project, to get a thriving new coral environment somewhere else. In the 45 minute dive, between the six of us divers, we managed to pick up four full bags of broken coral. After getting all these samples on board, we separated the dying ones, the bleaching ones, and the algae covered ones from the healthy ones. So we wanted to keep the healthy ones for the project, as these are the ones which would grow the fastest. When we arrived at the location of where the shipping containers would be dropped into the water, we were met by an enormous crowd. There were TV crews, there were a lot of very interested spectators. We had a couple of divers actually joining us to check out the whole process and the Navy General was very enthusiastic, joined us in the water and was one of the people first attaching corals to the coral nursery. So the plan was to drop these containers about eight to seven meters of water. So the top of the container was sitting at five or six meters. When we moved the containers to the location where we decided, uh, we had divers cut the ropes of the barrels on each side so the container would sink nice and flat. The container sunk just as planned and after the sand and particles in the water settled, we all went down there to start attaching the coral. I have heard rumors that potentially helicopters and even a tank is going to be sunk in this area, creating a fascinating underwater world for divers to discover. The goal of this entire project is to create an artificial reef in this area where there is nothing but sand. This will both hopefully benefit tourism, attracting more people into the area, as well as boosting the fish populations and coral diversities around the islands of Koh Rong and Koh San Luen. I cannot explain how thankful I am, not only on behalf of me and being able to share this with you guys, but also on what this means for the future of conservation in Cambodia. Furthering research, allowing more people like me and other scientists and marine biologists to go in there and check the health of the coral reefs. I have been extremely lucky that I was able to participate in this project and I actually wrote up a full report on the two days and you can click it down below. Thank you so much to the people who 
um, allowed me to be there and helped out in the project. This is all the links to to them. I'm going to be working with these people again to hopefully create more artificial reefs, more coral nurseries, potentially surveying more coral, exploring the dive sites around there, and just generally finding out about the health of the reef and what we can do. Thank you so much for watching. This is what my channel is about, uh, conservation, the environment, uh, veganism, as that is the number one way you can really help decrease your impact on the earth. So please feel free to subscribe, leave a comment, what else you'd like to see? What do you think this means for Cambodia? My name is Kat, thank you so much for watching.